everyone, I'm just doing a live video for funsies today, so this is not a tutorial video. Uh, so in the comments, don't say how it's, it's hard to follow because I really don't care. I'm really not trying to teach anything. I'm just goofing around. Um, and I thought today that I was just gonna mess around with the old faux 3D effect in, in Illustrator, um, taking this Minecraft pickaxe, trying to make a um, creative version of it, we'll have how it looks in the game. Um, using that 3D effect. I'm going to go ahead and set this image as my template layer that I got off of Google. Uh, there's a weird glitch in the new version of Illustrator where it won't automatically set your opacity um, when you set it as a template layer, so I'll do it for it, 50%. Create a new layer, and let's use the rectangular grid tool. An oldie but goodie. Uh, 16 dividers um, at 1080 height and width. So come on now. Work for me, work for me. There it is. Uh, let's align this up to, that uh, matches up just right. I got lucky on my first guess there. I counted it real fast. I can count. Um, I'm gonna use a uh, black stroke so I can see the dang thing and hit K to bring up the live paint bucket and click to convert to a live paint group. Now you can see it's highlighting these separate little areas that I can now sample with the old eyedropper. See, there it is, ba -da! and start painting this in, one at a time. And hit I to sample this lighter brown, and fill that in as well. Is this therapeutic to watch? Um, if I do it in a sultry, low voice, is it relaxing to watch me fill in the different pixel spaces on this Minecraft axe? Almost done here. I just got to fill in that center color. And there we go. This is not the best way to do pixel art, by the way. If I was serious, I'm using, I'd use Photoshop or you can even use GIMP. But the main, like I said, the main focus is I want to use this, the old 3D effect, to see if we can make something fun here. And there is our pickaxe. Okay, object expand. Let's get rid of that excess grid. There we go. Looking snazzy. Um, Let's see, three, effect, 3D, extrude, and bevel. Ba -doo. Nothing has changed in this for years. Um, preview, and since nothing has changed, you can also see it works like crap. And there's tons of ugly fractures in my pickaxe, but you know what? We're gonna work through this, and we're gonna uh, make it look it. I'm gonna use, use the off-axis front preset, looks fine. I'm gonna increase that extrude depth, just so it looks more like a cube. And just kind of mess around with this ambient light until I get um, the right lighting and coloration that I'm that I'm looking for. That's looking pretty good right there. Now you're asking, how am I going to get rid of these ugly little white fractures in here? I will show you. Um, so this is not a intuitive um, or quick technique in any way, but it's what if I found. If you found a better way to do this, uh, please let me know. But after all these years, this is still the best way I've found to do it. Just go ahead and expand the whole thing. Um, you still see those lines in there a little bit. Not as bad as before, but they're still in there. I'm um, going to ungroup the whole thing, and it interprets this very strangely. It just like makes these random groups, which I'm just going to go in here and ungroup everything so each shape is separate like that. There we go. And with the magic of the magic wand tool, we're gonna go ahead and select these similar colors and with the Pathfinder, just unite those together and that'll get rid of all the seams and fractures and the shape and that is looking pretty good. It was fast, easy, and it's kind of neat. Little faux 3D um, effect that we have here. Let's just make a quick background to finish this up. Add the final schnaz factor, but not green because that is horrible because it's the same green as the axe. Um, ooh, I'm going to use uh, one of the new uh, gradient types in Adobe CC where I could actually fill in these different nodes. Um, not like that, not the whole thing. Let's select it. There's our little nodes you can see in each corner. I'll put a yellow there and keep that white and make this one like a darker orange. There we go. If I had more time, I might add a shadow, but this is pretty good. Just in a few minutes, made a fun little Minecraft pickaxe.